Hi everyone and welcome to my vlog for today. So today I wanted to talk about some of the blocks that we have and some of the ways to get over those blocks that we have to receiving guidance. And the very first one, because I hear it all the time, Ron, I can't receive guidance. <laughs> and here is the truth. Yes, you can receive guidance. And I will tell you this, not because of false humility, but because it is a statement of fact. I am not special for being able to do what I do. I am not special for having a connection to the divine because guess what? You have the exact same connection. Now you may express it in a unique way, but it is the exact same, the exact same connection. No one is higher, no one is lower, no one is this or that. It's the exact same connection. The divine speaks to us every day. Every day the divine is speaking to you. The question is not what is it saying? The question is, are you listening? Okay, are you listening? So number one, are you able to receive guidance? Or I can't receive guidance. Yes, you can. Okay, number, which then leads us into number two. Well, I'm unworthy of receiving guidance. You are not unworthy of receiving guidance. Once again, I am not special for receiving guidance. Oprah Winfrey is not special for receiving guidance. Bill Gates is not special for receiving guidance. Uh, the guy who owns Virgin Mobile is not special for receiving guidance. No one is special for being able to receive guidance. No one is more or less worthy of receiving guidance simply because of this one fact. It does not matter if you are a Fortune 500 company owner. It does not matter if you are a billionaire, a millionaire, a quadrillionaire, or the richest person in all the world. It doesn't matter if you're the poorest person in all the world, or if you're middle class, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're a psychic, if you work from home, if you work for a company. It does not matter who you are because it well, the only thing that matters is what you are and what you are entitles you to guidance and what you are is divine what you are is divine remind yourself of that a thousand times a day I am the holy, you can use the holy child of God. I am one with the universe. Whatever it is you ascribe to be your higher power, you can use that. Remind yourself of that. I am entitled to guidance, not because of who I am, but because of what I am. What am I? I am divine. Simple, easy. Anyone can do it. I promise you. Number three, releasing your agenda. So many of us, when we are asking for something, we have an agenda in which we are asking with. Dear God, I need to know how to get the money for my rent. Very legitimate prayer and question. And all prayers will be answered. I don't want to, you know, try to discourage you and be like, oh, your prayer is not going to be answered because you put it that way. Of course not. God always answers prayers. The universe always answers in, t in its own time. But what we could do to really gain a faster answer or one that's going to serve us, you know, it's not going to be a day late and dollar short, is instead of using a prayer of supplication, we could use, dear God, I have forgotten who I am. I have forgotten the abundance in which you have given me. And I simply ask that you heal the part of my mind that still believes in lack. And I just ask you, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? That's it. And then go do what's in front of you to do, releasing it, letting it go. You're not focusing on how am I going to get the money? Because then what you're going to do is you are going to be looking for the guidance that says, go get a loan from this person, go borrow money from this person, go do this, go work more, go get a second job, blah, you know, all the things of the world. Instead, you may actually get this beautiful guidance where you're like, you know what, go to the grocery store, go to the grocery store. You go into the tomatoes, I don't know, tomatoes, you wanted some tomatoes for a beautiful salad you're going to make, and you look down and what do you find? $100. And then what do you know? You take that $100, you're like, you know what? I feel like I want to go up to the cat, you know, to the little kiosk, the self, or to the service desk. And you're like, hey, you know what? I found this $100 on the floor. Here you go. You know, being good Samaritan, or you could take it. It's whatever your guidance is at that time. And who knows? So maybe if you take the hundred dollars, great, wonderful. That's the hundred dollars that you're actually that you needed. Or you bring it up to the service desk. 
The person thanks you by giving you $200. We don't know, but we have to release our agenda. So what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? And the who you are asking this to is to your higher wisdom to your higher knowledge. You're not asking your ego self because your ego self is going to be like, honey, don't go to the grocery store. We don't even have money to pay the rent. Why are you going to go to the grocery store? Listen to that guidance, which then is going to bring us to number four. Guidance is not loud. And I also want to read you this from, so this is like a two-parter, I guess, that guidance isn't loud. And then also this part, which is on page nine. And the reason I know it's on page nine is because I've highlighted it and it's one of my favorite sections to read. A guide does not control, but he does direct, leaving it up to you to follow. So guidance isn't going to be like, Ron, here's what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to go down the street. I'm going to need you to turn left. Now I'm going to need you to turn right. Now I'm going to need you to go into Kroger. Now you need to go stand at the tomatoes. And as you stand at the tomatoes, wait three seconds, then look down. Bam, there's going to be $100 there for you. No. Guidance is, hey, I feel like I want to go to the store. Huh, I wonder which store I want to go to. I'm kind of feeling Kroger right now. Okay, let's turn and go to Kroger. Uh, what do I, I don't even need anything here, but what, okay, what would you have me do? Walk in. So you walk on in and you just happen to, you know, walk towards the fresh produce because it's pretty and it's red and you just want to look at it. And then, oh my God, there's a hundred dollars. Bam. It didn't tell me what to do. It was my, I chose in that moment to listen to the direction to follow the direction. It didn't tell me what to do. It just simply said, hey, here's a nudge. Oh, hey, here's another nudge. Hey, here's another nudge. That's what guidance is. Guidance is not telling you what's going to happen before it happens. It may give you a little reminder. Let's say that I'm about to get into a conversation with someone that's going to be really triggering for me. And before I get into that conversation, I have this guidance. I have this urge to remember or this memory popping up of when I wrote out my uh, learn how to respond instead of react course. And I'm like, huh, why is that coming up for? Well, whatever, and go into the conversation and then automatically I'm triggered. And I'm like, ah, this is why it reminded me of this to remind me to remember how to respond to people instead of react. Once again, did not tell me what to do but it directed me towards something that would be of assistance to me in a situation that was coming up, okay? So just remember that. The next thing, number five, the way that we block guidance is by believing that we have to go outside of ourselves for the guidance, that someone else is, you know, once again, betterly equipped. And not only that, it's about being vigilant. That's all guidance is. It's about being vigilant for the signs and symbols spirit is sending you. Now, yes, is sometimes a rock a rock? Yes. Sometimes a flower is a flower. And sometimes a bird just shits on your windshield. It doesn't necessarily mean anything in that moment. Okay? We just simply ask for that guidance, you know, and you be vigilant. Okay, is spirit trying to communicate with me? What is spirit trying to tell me in this moment? If anything, sometimes things just, they happen. You know, now nothing happens by accident. Of course, who knows what the divine plan is. We don't know what it is. But what we can do is we can simply be aware, be vigilant and aware. Now, this will say is our bonus fact. Uh, number six, if you are that friend who, you know, people come to for advice, the reason they are coming to you for advice is because you are in de direct vibrational frequency with what and how they need to hear something. So remember that just because, you know, I am an intuitive, everyone is intuitive, everyone is psychic, everyone receives guidance. You know, there are times when I am sure you have said things that blow your own mind and you're like, who the hell said that? Did that come out of my mouth? Yes, it did. Oh my God. And you're just super surprised. So remember that the reason people come to you for your advice or for a reading or for mentorship or whatever is because you are in direct vibrational alignment with the message they need to hear and how they need to hear it in that 
moment. So what I want to offer to everyone is here in the description, I will put the link to my eight weeks of guidance course that I'm going to be starting. I'm only going to be taking six participants because that's what I feel comfortable with. Six participants we will be getting on live weekly and also be having homework and also having like a little buddy system that we're going to be uh, introducing as well as a Facebook group, a private Facebook group. Um, that will assist you in tuning in to your own guidance. Now, once again, just like my self-love course, which if you guys are interested, I'll put the link in that below as well. I'm not teaching you necessarily how to do it. I'm helping you remove the blocks that you have to receiving that guidance. Like I tell people all the time, I am here to simply, I can't teach you anything you don't already know. I'm here to remind you of what is already inside of you. And that's what my eight weeks of guidance course is all about. And like I said, I'm only taking six people because that's what I feel comfortable with. And that's what you know, feels good to me. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you again next week.